Hello and welcome to the TES Secondary Maths Resource of the Week number 27 with me Craig Barton. Now those of you who've been following my work for the last several years will know I'm a little bit obsessed with Tarsia Jigsaw software but I feel there's a big danger that if you're just using Tarsia to kind of recreate 10 textbook questions but in a jigsaw format then it's not actually adding too much to the learning experience of the students. So in the first uh, resource of the week video of this current series, I looked at an innovative way of using Tarsia jigsaws that I called Find Five or Find Five Mistakes. And that one went down quite well. So whilst I was looking for the resource of the week this week, I stumbled upon this wonderful idea from Frickard, um, who uses and who finds another interesting and innovative way of using Tarsia with pictures. So I thought this would be worth looking at because this is a question I get asked quite a bit via the emails. How do you get pictures into Tarsia and how do you uh, use those pictures for an engaging learning experience for students? Well, Frickard's come up with the answer here. So he's created a Tarsia jigsaw um, on factorizing quadratics that is, has these pictures in it. Now I'll just talk you through the activity itself first and then we'll have a look how we can actually do this ourselves. So what students need to do, um, those of you who are familiar with Tarsia will know this is the output screen. This gets uh, printed out and the kids cut these uh, triangles up. Uh, the students have to factorize the quadratics and find the two linear factors of each one. And once they've found them, they look down on this code sheet and if, for example, it's got a factor of x minus one and a factor of x plus seven, then that will be a letter A and a letter P. And then the other quadratic uh, below it, they'll find the two linear, linear factors of that and that may give them two extra letters, perhaps an E and a C. And then students have to rearrange those letters to find the name of an animal and then match that animal with the corresponding uh, pairs of quadratic equations that gave them those letters. And I just think that's just such a lovely way of adding a bit of spice to factorizing quadratics. And I've done one of these Tarsias in the past with factorizing quadratics and just had the quadratic form matching with the factorized form. But of course, the fundamental flaw with that is the kids can just expand the brackets and, and go back the other way. But this forces them to do the factorization in a fun and engaging way. And I think that's absolutely superb, a wonderful idea. So is this impossible to do? How's this been done? Well, it's dead, dead easy. Um, importing pictures into Tarsia um, is pretty straightforward. You just hit, click insert picture, that's fine. But those of you who've then tried to save it will know that you're in a world of trouble there because you've got to keep all the image files in the same folder and it's a right hassle. But as uh, um, Jill Hillett pointed out to me and uh, Frickard kindly references her here, it's dead, dead easy just uh, to do and that's to save it to a PDF. So I'll just show you this very, very quickly here. Uh, you need to install a little piece of software, a free PDF converter. Now you can Google those and there's, there's hundreds out there. Um, I use this one, Qt PDF, it's just free. It takes two seconds uh, just to download. And what it means is when you've created your Tarsia, so this is just in the normal Tarsia uh, software, when you go to file and if you go to print, instead of printing it to your printer, if instead you print it to the PDF uh, uh, converter that you've installed, what that'll actually do is it'll create a PDF of your actual file. And that means if you've got pictures in your Tarsia here, it will save them as actual pictures, just like Frickard's done there. So all you need to do if you want to do one of these is to install yourself a free PDF creator. And I just think it adds a whole new dimension and a whole new set of possibilities to what you can do with Tarsia. And I'm a bit excited about this, and I've put a little shout out there that if anybody else creates something like this, let me know and we can build a nice little collection of these, because I think it's a wonderful idea, really engaging, innovative thing to do with the students. And Frickard hasn't stopped there. He's also chucked in as a little bonus, a little factorizing quadratics homework as well to give your students, building up nicely to one where the coefficient in front of the x squared isn't one. So a lovely activity there. I'll certainly be using this with my year 11s and I hope that it'll, this will lead to a more longer term strategy where we can come up with a few other ways of using pictures with our Tarsia Jigsaw software. Anyway, hope that was useful. If you've got any ideas or you create any of these yourself, please share them in the comments section below and I'll be back with a fresh resource of the week next week. Take care and bye for now.